With ArcGIS dashboards and ArcGIS dashboards classic, there are some very significant differences. And one of those differences are data expressions in ArcGIS dashboards. So if you want to learn a little bit more about data expressions and go through two examples, stay tuned. Okay, so what are data expressions? Data expressions are used to manipulate your data or any open data from a source for visualization and insight in ArcGIS dashboards. They must return feature sets which can drive data-driven elements in dashboards. And something to note is data expressions and advanced forming in dashboards are separate arcade profiles. So let's get into our first example. So here we are looking at uh, a dashboard for Ottawa traffic and construction. Here you can see we are using ArcGIS dashboards and non uh, ArcGIS dashboards classic. Uh, you can tell the difference because the classic version, you'll notice the URL has ops dashboard and ArcGIS dashboards just has dashboards in it. Now the data expressions feature is only available in ArcGIS dashboards. So what this map is looking at is these pins here uh, are all representative of an intersection where there is a traffic monitoring. And more specifically, this data being brought in is showing a traffic percentages um, by each month. So here is the open data layer that is from uh, Ottawa, uh, showing those traffic volume uh, monitoring intersections. Now, if we take a look at the data, we can see that these AM and PM percentages of each intersection are actually represented as strings. And we can't use strings in a chart element in dashboards. So what I had to do was I had to download the data, field calculate, um, the AM and PM fields into number fields. And you can see I did that here. Now, if this information is a one-time download, then maybe this is a better solution. But let's say that I wanted to use data coming in directly from uh, the uh, Ottawa Open Data Portal and I wanted to be able to create a chart out of that. So that would mean that we would need to change these AM and PM percentages into integers. So let's see how we can manipulate that data um, to represent what we wanted to represent. So here I am in this serial chart and I am going to change a layer. So here you're gonna be able to see that there is a new source known as data expressions where you can define these data expressions. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. So something that's super important and also very helpful is there is some documentation and there are some sample data expressions that I very much recommend you go in uh, and take a look at what examples are there. Um, they're really great starting points. But let's start from scratch. So what we want to do is we want to change our AM and PM um, field types. So first what we're going to do is we are going to bring in that, that portal item. So we're going to bring in that feature set and this layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to define which fields I want part of my output. So that is going to be AM, PM, the intersection name, and also the month that uh, percentage was taken. 
So next, what we are going to do is we are going to create an empty dictionary. And this is very important because uh, this dictionary is going to be our feature set at the end, which each uh, data expression needs to have. So here we're going to create this empty dictionary. Um, we're going to give uh, a name to each field. And then we're also going to define which type that field's gonna be. So for month and intersection, we're going to have that string uh, field type, but here for AM and PM is where we're going to turn that into um, an integer field type. Then what we are going to do is we're gonna loop through our features in the feature set and we are going to populate that dictionary. So for features in our feature set that we had defined up here, um, we are going to loop through them and we are going to populate that dictionary um, for each uh, field. So here, For intersection, we are going to use intersection. And then we're going to be doing the same for month, AM, and PM. And then finally, what we're going to do is we are going to return that dictionary uh, that we uh, defined and looped through uh, as a feature set. So if we scroll to the top, we can test this. And now we're going to be able to get all those values and more importantly, um, those AM and PM uh, percentages now in numbers. So we can take a scroll through and make sure all of our data is here. So now that data is not local, but it's coming straight from uh, Ottawa's open data. And now I can just start defining um, my category as being the intersection. I want to split it by the month and do an average of that AM um, percentages. So we can see what those trends look like from early in um, March 2020 all the way to January in 2021. And that will look at the end something like this. So now that we have that information coming right uh, straight uh, from the source, something else I want to do is I also found this McDonald's Cartier Bridge um, intersection, which is not a part of this data set. But if we look at the data from uh, Ottawa's open data, we can see it's got the same information about that intersection, but in this case, it's called location. We've got that month, and we also have the AM and PM percentages. So now what we're going to do is now we are going to create a new data expression. We're, we're going to be appending two layers. So we're going to be taking this uh, traffic volume monitoring at intersections, which includes that, those original seven intersections that we just um, visualized. And then we're also going to be bringing in this one more intersection. So we're gonna pen those two um, data sets together and put it all in one chart. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So first, we've done this before, we are going to bring in um, that intersection data uh, with uh, whichever fields we want to use. And 
And then again, I'm going to create that empty dictionary. And in this case, intersection has been changed to location um, just for consistency purposes. So next, what we're going to do is what we've already done before, and we are going to loop through um, that dictionary. So right now, uh, our uh, data expression is looking like what we just did. Um, but now what we're going to do is we are going to pull in that Cartier bridge data. Uh, and then we are going to define our fields again. And just like before, we are going to uh, loop through the Cartier bridge data, and this is just going to append our features um, in the dictionary in our FS traffic uh, dictionary, which already has this data, the original intersection data in it. So um, by looping through it again, we were able to just append that data into one data set. And we can't forget our final step by outputting uh, that dictionary that we created. We can go ahead and test this. And now if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we'll be able to see all that data for McDonald Cartier Bridge um, appended. So now we can go ahead and select our category fields as the location and it will look something like this. And now we've got that McDonald's Cartier Bridge uh, information also within our same chart. So in this video, we learned how to use data expressions to do two things. In our first example, we learned how you can change uh, field types from incoming data uh, to uh, visualize and express the data how you want it to. And in our second example, we did the same by changing those field types. Um, but this time we were able to append two data sets together. Uh, and so we could visualize two different layers into in one chart. Um, so that takes care of uh, some of our examples for now. Um, stay tuned and I'm going to bring you one more.